Is it on? Oh shit, yeah, no, it's on. It's too low. There we go. Welcome guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of High Rise Invasion, and this is a no spoilers review. For those of you who've seen it, you're probably going to come at me a little bit for actually liking this one because I actually liked it. Yeah, I actually liked it. Now for those of you who haven't and you don't know all that much about it, what it's about is basically these high school girls. Well, it starts with just the one, right? But it's mostly about these three high school girls specifically who get transported somehow because you just they just wake up and they're there like you don't see anything before that in the start off and yeah no they get transported to this world where they are trying to compete to become god right really weird weird premise but i mean it's not something that hasn't been done before but at this point, is anything really original? Because everything's kind of been done before, I feel like. But personal opinion. Personal opinion. But no, they're up on this rooftop and they have to, like, stay up on the roofs and on upper levels. They can't get down below that. They can't get down to the street unless they want to jump. And then there are all these mass characters who are trying to, I don't know, get them to almost... They want them to either become God, and if you don't have any interest in doing that, they're going to try and make you jump, right? Pretty basic premise. A little bit confusing. That was probably my one trope for this. And why do I say people are going to hate me who have seen it for saying that I like it? Uh, this is a fan service anime. It is a heavy fan service anime. For anyone who gets really uncomfortable by that. It's so heavy on the fan service. Like, it really is. I won't spoil any of those moments for you, but it really is. And it also, for those of you who do care, it does touch in like the very first episode on this whole... <sighs> I don't know that I want to spoil this, but I don't feel like it's a spoiler because it's first episode thing. But there is totally a scene that will definitely make you uncomfortable, as it is very rape-based. Yeah, need I say more so if you're triggered by that, you may want to skip this one, or just be advised that you may need some TLC after the first episode, but it's only that first episode that they threw that into, okay? So, yeah. Just an FYI for anybody who does have triggers and issues with that. This might trigger that, that first episode. It is very poorly written, right? But, see, I don't know why I like it so much. I don't know if I like the characters. Okay, the main girl, I didn't really like her. But the other two girls, they really, I felt the vibe with them. I really liked them. They were, there was enough funny and interesting with them that I didn't have to care about the main person. But it's really badly written, but for me, I was still left interested with it. I just really didn't like that main character, because she was, she's very, she's so very, um, I'm doing this for the plot. I'm doing it for the plot. It's plot reasons, right? She's got that going on. Like, one minute we're like, oh no, the next minute we're like, totally cool with killing someone. She's very, very do it for the plot, which is why I probably didn't like her at all, but the other two, I like them enough to carry me through the anime. And there is some other stuff, too, that I wasn't insanely happy with. Like, you'd normally assume something about a character, and then it'd be wrong. Some of them were, there were moments where Again, uh, mostly with the main character, where they just didn't seem to ring true to the perception of themselves that you had been given. You know, it, it happens in a lot of animes, to be honest. I can't really, I don't see the point in complaining about it, because it happens in a lot of animes. It's plot-driven characters right there. And also the deaths, and the fights, 
and I've heard this from other people who watched it too. They were like, oh yeah, the first couple ones were it. It was it. And then I just realized that most of the fights and the deaths were literally all happening in almost the same way every time. And I, and I went and looked at it and I was like, yeah, no, you're right. It's very, those deaths and fights get a little bit repetitive to the point where you don't really care about them. So if you're looking for something with nice deaths or fights, not the one for you. If you're looking, if you get drawn into even poorly written characters like I do, then yeah, if you like fan service, it's for you. Just saying. Which I know everyone gets so uncomfortable because they are high school girls, but it's an animated show, guys. And they were drawn with the bodies of adults. And yeah, it is a little weird. And when you think about it, it does make you uncomfortable. But just don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it and you'll be fine. But you know, there are likable characters. The main character, if you like her, I don't know why you like her, but you're entitled to your opinion. But <laughs> you are. And it's a valid opinion, but I didn't like her at all. I didn't like her at all. But yeah, no. So... This one's definitely not for everyone. It's one of those really hit or miss. If you get drawn into even poorly written characters, I definitely give this one a swing, even though you may hate the main character. But yeah, there you go. Hopefully you guys watch it and enjoy it or choose not to watch it and be happy with yourself. So until next time, guys.